are tailgating today at the Panthers game. Um, I'm gonna show you how I make my guac. It's really, really good. Um, so I'll show you what we need. We'll need cherry tomatoes. We will need avocados, cilantro, limes, and an onion. And of course, uh, salt and pepper. And I have a mango. Um, I like to add bits of mango to it. Of course, you know, you could definitely add it on the side, um, but it does give a sweet, delicious flavor. So now we are going to cut the avocado. I did want to share how I pick out avocados. It should be soft, not mushy, um, but soft enough. Um, and then if you remove this, I don't know, what is this called? Like a pit thing? What is it? I don't know, like it's this the, thing. It's where the stem connects. Yeah, that. It should be green. Can you see it in there? Yep. Okay. So if it's yellow, it's not ready. If it's green, it's ready to go. So. We'll do the test on this one. It's soft. And we'll remove this. And it's green. So they should be good. We'll just cut one open right now so you can see it. Ta-da! Perfect. Now you don't want to add the green spot. I'm sorry, the black spots because they may taste a bit bitter and mess up your guac. I made a mistake one day and I ate it and it was terrible. Here, as you can see, yes. I'm scooping out the avocado, placing <laughs> it in the bowl. All right, we'll try out the guac. Go Panthers! Oh, you know come. it's gonna be good because we got Panthers Tostitos. Mm -hmm. Let me know how it is. One side has mango, the other doesn't. Fantastic. <laughs> Approved. Sell this stuff. So these are the jalapeno poppers. I don't really, Josh made it with sweet Italian sausage, cream cheese, Parmesan cheese. Um, and we didn't have time to make a video, but he did cut each of our jalapenos. Oh, and the jalapenos came from our garden. He gutted them, so he removed the seeds and what is it called? The vein? No. Yeah. Yeah, the... The stuff inside. The spicy stuff. Um, then he stuffed it with this delicious stuff. Popped it in the oven for how long? 20 minutes at 425. Let's see how they are. They're so good. <laughs> Easy peasy. Delicious. Yo, what's up everybody? Uh, just got back from the... Hispanic festival where Abu was playing on stage, music, everything. Um, so we're going to have some stuffed peppers tonight. Uh, super easy, super delicious, super healthy. Um, obviously bell peppers, take, clean them out, gut them, get the seeds, get the, uh, the you know, everything out of them. Uh, we like to use ground turkey. It's a healthy alternative to ground beef. Cheese. Chop up a tomato. Cilantro. Add it on the top. Um, a can of black beans. Drain it and rinse it. Corn, just drain it. It's fine. Put everything together. Mix it all up. And we're going to stuff it in those peppers. So stay tuned.
set your Instant Pot for 15 minutes. So we always have some extra. So what we do is that we um, just add a little bit of oil. I use this olive oil cooking spray. Just spray a little bit on there, put, of course, some minced garlic. Oh, I guess you can't see the label, hold on. You know what, well, you know what it looks like. There you go. Just put on. Um, For anyone that doesn't like a bell pepper, they can still have the mixture. Yep. So, um, one of our kids does not like a cooked bell pepper. She'll eat it raw, but she won't eat it cooked. Um, so we go ahead and just, all this extra meat, we'll go ahead and cook it, and then our side would be rice. So Josh and I usually do like a bell pepper bowl, um, but the girls will have their rice, um, and then we top it with this meat mixture. And they really enjoy it. All right, we will show you what the outcome is. So the peppers are done. We're gonna make a bowl. Mommy, I love the kind. Okay, baby. So our base is some rice. White rice? Yo. <laughs> Hello. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Out of the instant pot. Instant pot. Here we we go. literally Here we use go. the instant pot like it's the bomb.com. Three times a week. And then you just place it. Put it in on that there. rice. And normally we have like this green hot sauce. Salsa, uh, salsa verde. Yes. Oh, but so instead good. we have tapatio. Tapatio, tapatio. You know, if you if you don't want to spice it up, that's fine. It, it's great the way it is. If you want to spice it up, add whatever you want. I mean, the the options are endless. And this is the kid version one. This is the kid version without the bell pepper. And they absolutely rice, love beans, it. ground turkey, tomatoes, it. corn. <laughs> Perfect. It's great. All right. See ya. Hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Bye.